I'm here with Greg Curtis with the Gareth Greenhouse. And well, first of all, something that's been a pretty serious problem, uh, especially this year, is that crepe myrtle and park scale. It, it is, Jeff. And the best thing to do is go to our the website, goodearthgarden.com, go to our blog post on it, because a lot of people aren't treating correctly. And it, this year is probably the worst I've seen it in probably five years. So goodearthgarden.com, go to the blog post for crepe myrtle bark mm -hmm. scale. It, it'll, it'll spread it, and eventually do a lot of damage to your, your it, It'll do myrtles. a lot of damage. All right, so just head to the website and you can check that out. Uh, today we're talking about something that a lot of people see in their yards this time of year because it really stands out. It does. The yard kind of, you know, turns that brown, yellow color. But this stays green. It stays green. This we're, isn't grass, though. We're going to talk a little about onion. We're going to do a couple things, but if you'll pick that up for me. We'll talk a little bit about it. You can see the top's only, what, that big around? The bottom is about the size of a coffee can. There's probably 100 bulbs in there. So if not treated correctly, kind of like the crepe myrtle bark I scale. I can smell every one of them. Yeah, you can smell, it, it's just gonna get worse and worse. So a couple things you don't wanna do. You don't want to just cut it off with a lawnmower or weed whacker. You don't wanna spray Roundup on it. You wanna get a product that's made for that. Yeah, and if you just try to pull it out, oh. you know, you, you'll leave all of this yeah. or on here's, the ground. Here's what you'll do a lot of times. You'll prune it, so that plant's gonna think something's going on, and it'll actually produce more and more bulbs. So you use a product that we've talked about in the past, but Image does a great job. And what it does, it goes and cuts the photosynthesis process off. So it actually makes the plant take all its nutrients down here from the bulb, and that's how it dies. So it might take four to six weeks, but that's, that's the way you actually kill it. So it uses all the nutrients up in the bulb, and then the bulb can't the sprout bulb can't, out new can't do anything else. But the one thing that people forget, and we want to remind them, there's a product called Spreader Sticker. And what that's going to do is going to go onto the plant it's not like dishwashing soap that actually lifts things. It goes on the plant and opens up the pores and makes it go in. So what I did this, this past morning, I put some spreader sticker in there with some uh, red dye. And what it's done, you can see it's taking it through the pores of the styrofoam, which is pretty amazing. So when you put it on a plant like that or other weeds, it immediately goes in. So. so that's how you get it into the plant. It'll absorb, even though it has that waxy coating. Yep. And eventually it'll force all those bulbs to use up their nutrients and die. Yeah, the you won't have this coming up. The main thing, like crepe myrtle bark scale, if, I hate to say it, but if you're not going to treat it correctly, you might as well not treat it. So get you a good product, put your spreader sticker in there, put it out, and you'll take care of it. All right, that's all the time we have for right. this week. Join us back here next Wednesday for the Gritter Greenhouse.